and welcome. Today we're going to look at the Affinity High Quality Airbrush. This is the Harder and Stimback 4.0mm airbrush version I've got here. And I've also got the cleaning pouch here which comes with all the bits and pieces to clean this sort of airbrush with. So without further ado, let's have a look at the uh, Infinity Airbrush. Right, okay, so let's open it up and have a look. So you pull it out, got the box, let's move it out a little bit there, box there, which has a bit on the side, same thing on the back there, bit of information there, so it's the 0.4mm. Hang up, let's go on the side, and then you have the little instruction book, and then how to clean your airbrush and then the instructions show you all the parts that go onto the airbrush yeah and how to put it all together and go a bit more there on it how to use the quick release how to use the airbrush properly Then how to uh, test it, make sure it all works fine, then cleaning. And then the guarantee and what the lines look like there and how to sort out any issues you might have with this uh, top of the airbrush. And then it has it all again in all different languages and then the picture on the back there. And then here it is. So let's open up and have a look. So in here you get obviously the airbrush the other nozzle and how to unlock it there to give it the your clean and then I don't need this myself but we have the, the quick release there and then here is the airbrush it's got a nice little little trigger on it turn it there to adjust and tighten it same there and then you push this in out I don't know if I can see, let me just see if I can get this to work for you. So the idea is that when you push back, it goes all the way. But when you push this in, you can adjust. I think you can see it right there, just here. You can adjust it to go back a certain distance so you can get a decent quality spray every single time. I haven't learned this yet. I'm still practicing with this. But it works like that and works really well. So you can just turn it in and out and you see it. It gives you different different speed there for the air to come out. Obviously, nozzle protector comes off there, put back on. And then you've got the big, big top one on this one. This isn't the small one. Because I went for the four, 0 0.4, I just like it the big one on top. That just comes off like that, goes back on like that. And then you just open it up and there you go inside the airbrush there. So that is it and then you have the quick release obviously on the bottom you can add which is this bit right here that just slots on the bottom there if I can get it on there you go just clicks on like that and then it just comes off that is the airbrush and what comes with it on that one and then I've also got the little pouch that has a cleaning bits in it so after you finish at the end of the day, it's a good little bit to have one of these. What you do, open it up, pop it out, move that to one side. You have the cleaning rag to put your bits on. As you can see, it's not very easy to see, but on the bottom right hand corner it does actually have the markings there. And then in here you get all the bits that are needed to to clean it, so I'll get them all out. So you get a, a protection nozzle, some extra o rings that you can use, all the different little cleaning utensils. There, you then get the, the unlocker bit there, and then last but not least, you have obviously the clean out the nozzle there, and that's everything that comes in the cleaning utility. So you have that and the airbrush there. Well, I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe.